Urban, it's your 70th birthday, and so I would like to ask you to come up, please, and join me on stage here, because when it's uh, your birthday, you do get a present, okay? <laughs> <laughs> have in Erwin Jacobs is an individual who is technically brilliant. He's uh, incredibly innovative. He's business savvy. He's, I think you could say, undaunted by even the largest of odds when he believes he's right. In addition to being brilliant and creative, there's a constructive aspect about everything he does. He is able to pull together uh, bits and pieces of a problem and really put them into a solution to that problem and move forward on that solution. And I think in that sense, uh, he is really quite, uh, quite unique. He's always one or two steps ahead of everybody. Irwin is, I think, the most ethical businessman I've ever known. When many of us think of the ideal engineer that we would like to clone if we could in engineering schools, it's Erwin Mark Jacobs. He is consistently ranked among America's most admired chief executives, but to San Diegans, Erwin Jacobs is much more. Father of the region's telecom miracle, his company logo imprinted on the city's football stadium, and together with his wife Joan, Jacobs is the city's most prolific philanthropist. More than a hundred companies can trace their roots back to the first company that Jacobs built, and the digital wireless technology he championed is now the standard for third-generation cell phone systems around the globe. For all the superlatives, though, Erwin Jacobs remains remarkably grounded, even when announcing a $110 million donation to UCSD's Jacobs School of Engineering. Well, it's a great pleasure to be able to make this type of a gift and to kick off or sustain this campaign. I think it is very, very important to the university, to the region, to the state, to the country. Very important time to continue to improve education throughout the country to make sure that we are preparing leaders for the future, that we're educating students. In October 2003, as the Qualcomm founder and CEO turned 70 years old, he participated in a UCSD symposium in his honor, attended by more than 500 faculty, students, colleagues, and friends from industry. It's my pleasure to welcome you all here on behalf of the Jacobs School and our co-hosts, Qualcomm and the California Institute for Telecommunications and Information Technology. This is a wonderful occasion as we are here to honor Dr. Irvin Mark Jacobs on his 70th birthday. Speakers look back at Jacob's academic and business careers, as well as his impact on UCSD, San Diego, communications theory, and the wireless industry. A panel of international experts also looked ahead to telecommunications in the next 70 years. I don't try to look 70 years ahead, but I do try to kind of think what might be happening over the next two, three, four, five, maybe decade. And then, you know, is there something, is there good ways that perhaps if we do the job right, we can end up with some new products and continue to build a very good company? And so each year I've, you know, people, because sometimes people will come in and say, are there really any good things left to be done? And uh, each year I, I feel confident saying, yes, there's yet another decade, and that decade luckily keeps moving out. Erwin always understood that what you took in and what you paid out had to be different. There had to be something left over. <laughs> and it was that kind of innate, there has to be something left over, that the bottom line is, that the bottom line is important, is in one, one of the things that separates Erwin from a lot of would-be entrepreneurs, a lot of wonderfully trained technical people who are great technicians and lousy managers.